let's begin with top 100 basic computer questions and answers so the very first question is the computer monitor is also known as the computer monitor is usually visualizing so as you can already see your options you're the full form of um, there is no such thing as a uh, option which is dvu or uvd but your vdu is something which is uh, full form is um, visual so visual display unit vdu is visual display unit and cctv full form is closed circuit television so it's closed circuit television henceforth your option c will be the correct answer which is visual display unit so let's come into second question arrange in ascending order the units of memory tb kb gb and mb so i have a diagram which is the detail about what is the kb mb gb and tb so here if you see a bit is nothing but one binary digit so binary digit is nothing but zero and one so zero and one is your binary digit and your nibble has four bits suppose for example this is a binary digit this four set is nothing but your nibble and if it is an eight digit um binary digit which means i have eight three four five six seven eight the entire eight digit is called as byte okay and your eight bytes in similar way is called as your one word so one word is nothing but 16 bits six, 32 bits 64 bits so your 16 bits is a word 32 bits is a word 64 bits is a word so in similar way one kilobyte is nothing but 1024 bytes and your one megabyte is 1024 kilobyte your one gigabyte is 1024 megabyte your one tetrabyte is 1024 gb and one petabyte is your 1024 terabyte so here if you see kb mb gb and tb so coming to the options arrange the ascending order of the units like how we saw your um, gb your uh, g your kb was the lesser amount kb greater than gb greater than mb greater than tb so your kb greater than mb greater than gb greater than tb and vice versa where it is gb greater tb greater than um, gb greater than kb therefore it is your option c so coming to third question which one of these stores more data than a dvd so if i have to tell you the capacity that dvd holds is 4.7 gb okay this you got to remember it's 4.7 gb this is 4 4.7 gb and the capacity of a cd rom is 680 mb which is your megabyte 680 mb and for a floppy disk it is 2.8 mb you can just imagine how small capacity a cd and a floppy would be having because mb is very small the smaller is your kb but if you compare your mb is very small a blu-ray disk has high capacity of 50 gb okay and your red light this is of uh, on the dual basis the red day disc is about half the amount or lesser than the blue day disc which you have to remember is 8.5 gb okay so if you compare all the uh, capacities from dvd to a red ray disc you can see that your blue ray disc has high or the larger mb which is a 50 mb so going to the next question 
எயிட் பிட்ஸ் மேக்கப் ஸோ லைக் ஹவ் இல்லை அந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபோர் பிட்ஸ் மேக்கப் பர் நிபிள் அண்ட் ஒரு எயிட் பிட்ஸ் மேக்கப்பும் பை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் என் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ கம் டு ஃபிஃப்த் கொஷன் விச் மேன் இஸ் அ ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் அவுட் புட் ஆஃப் அ கிவன் பை அ கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஸோ யூர் யூஸ்வலி வென் யூ திங்க் அபவுட் திஸ் கொஷன்ஸ் வென் யூ சி தி ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ கம் டு அ கன்க்ளூஷன் தேட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இஸ் ஒன் விச் இஸ் த ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் தி அவுட் புட் கிவன் பை அ கம்ப்யூட்டர் வைல் ஆஸ் யுவர் டேட்டா டஸ் நாட் கிவ் அன் அவுட் புட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் டஸ் நாட் கிவ் அன் அவுட் புட் அண்ட் ரிகர்ஷன் டஸ் நாட் கிவ் ஃப்ரம் த ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் அ கம்ப்யூட்டர் நாட் இட் டஸ் நாட் ஃப்ரம் த ரிசல்ட் ஸோ விச் ஒன் ஆஃப் தீஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் ரீட் ரைட் அண்ட் மெமரி ஸோ த ஃபுல் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் யுவர் ராம் இஸ் random um sorry the full form of the rom is read only memory and the full form of your ram is random sorry it is random access memory the full form of your dvd is your digital versatile disk and you definitely know what is a hard disk i you know i have to explain that so here um random access memory can read and write while your rom which is read only memory can only read as it suggests in the abbreviation so coming to next the printed output of a computer so the printed you know output of a computer if you look at the options let me go explaining by the options so copy you know which is copying from one destination to another destination while as your soft copy is an electronic version of document which is not printed like for example it is files sorry it's files um pdfs which is electronically or even your email okay which is in the form of electronic version electronic version of document okay so this electronic version of document which is not printed it cannot be printed is your soft copy while as your hard copy is nothing but your papers or your um example your tax papers or any kind of papers your um or any kind of papers that you can see or you can touch and feel which is also an electronic version of documents but which can be printed okay you know what is a paper so the correct answer for the printed output from a computer is called as your hard copy okay hard copy is something which is printed output from a computer it's not coming from printed output from com- it can be printers and such okay fifth question ms word is an example of so if you come to option a it's an operating system so operating system is a um, system software that manages so it manages the computer hardware as the description says okay operating system is software that manages computer hardware and it cannot be related to ms word so coming to option b a processing device so processing device is any device inside a computer that interprets and manipulates data during its stage so for example we have cpu is a processing unit so that is no related with your ms word and application software so application software is all applications that is um, example can be ms word ms access all the other applications so definitely your correct answer would be option c this application software you know what's an input device input device is nothing but your keyboard your joystick and your gaming um, stick all those comes under 
input devices. So moving on to ninth question, the second generator computer was based on. So before I show you the correct answer, which is the generations, the generations, the period and technology used during those periods. So your first generation used a vacuum tube and your second generation used a transistor. So this is very important, which you definitely must remember on what computer generations were handling. Your third generation is your integrated circuits, your ICs. And your fourth generation is your microprocessors. Fifth generation is your artificial intelligence, which we are running in the present. Okay, so it's very easy to remember. Your second generation is a transistor. Your first generation is a vacuum. Your third generation is an integrated circuit. Your fourth generation is a microprocessor, while the fifth generation is your artificial. So here, the second generation computer was based on a transistor, correct? Which is your option C. So, So like you saw, your vacuum tubes is belong to the first generation. So while what is silicon chips and biochips? So your silicon chips are nothing but your computer chips, which are also known as silicon chips. And the biochips are also known as biocomputers or micro arrays. It's like a computer chip itself. So those are related to the computer parts, but not uh, it was not totally the part of second generation. Okay. So third one. What so dash is the process of dividing the disk into tracks and sectors. So, what was dividing into tracks and uh, sectors? So, tracking, formatting, crashing, allocating. So, um, the process of dividing a disk into tracks and sectors is nothing but a formatting. You format, you cannot track it, you cannot crash it, you cannot allocate it, you can only format because you're dividing the disk into tracks and sectors so the term computer is derived from a latin language this was important which i have to tell without even clarifying the options so who is the inventor of difference engine so uh, many people get confused in this case but you always have to remember i have brought out a series of questions who is the father of computer who is the father of computer science so let's look into one by one so who is the inventor for difference engine obviously charles babbage itself is inventor if you look at the other options and who is the father of computer the father of computer is same charles babbage but who is the father of computer science the computer science so here alan turing was the father of computer science you know you definitely should remember the difference father of computer is charles babbage while father of computer science is alan turing and who is the father of personal computer so here edward robert is the father of personal computer so 16 question a cpu contains so while looking at the options a card reader and a printing service no an electrical engine and a control unit no cpu definitely contain control unit and an arithmetic unit okay an arithmetic logic and a card reader no those are card readers are nothing but your extendable devices but it definitely does not contain it contains a control unit and an arithmetic unit so which of the following controls the process of interaction between the user and the operating system? So the process of interaction between the user and operating system is your user interface. And there is uh, not much 
difference between as it's in definition of the question itself the process of interaction between the user and operating system so you might even ask what's a language translator so a language translator is actually a programming language that converts a computer program from one language to another language so that is nothing but a language translator and what's a platform so platform is nothing but it's an environment in which a piece of software is being executed so here this is an environment um environment in which a piece of software and right as like w for software is executed okay and you know definitely what the screen saver when the the laptop or your desktop definitely goes off that is nothing but your screen saver so it is the first computers were programmed using so this is very very important as it can really confuse few people because this uh uh options might look very appetizing or very con conclusive but the first computers were programmed using the machine language we need to remember that using machine language then you can even ask what is assembly language so assembly language is nothing but a low level language your low level language while your machine is your high level language your source code is a list of a uh, human readable um instincts that a programmer writes so it's source code is nothing but just like how i said um a human readable code or that a programmer writes okay so this source code is a uh, human readable and your object code is set of instruction codes okay that is understood by a computer at the lowest software level so it's a set of object code set of in set of instruction codes that is understood by a computer at lowest level so computer understandable code is your object code okay code or on level you can tell so next question is uh, coded entries which are used to gain access to a computer system is called what do you mean by coded entry your coded entries are your um, can be encrypted or decrypted passwords so i have already meant, i have already told the answer that is password that your entry codes or security commands your code words is other synonyms for your passwords but which is used to gain access to a computer system is your passwords so you organize files by storing them in yes the answer is not lists it's not indexes or it's not archives it is folders you organize them in a folder okay and you store them friend so next question what type of resource is most likely to be shared common resource in a computer network so the type of resources which can commonly shared resource in a computer network this can be very bit sneaky because um the resources to be shared among a common resource is only your printer which can share none other speakers floppy disk and keyboards cannot share your resources in a computer network which device is required for internet connection so you can obviously find out your joystick doesn't need internet connection nor your cd drive nor your nic card your modem for sure so modem is your answer so what's a light pen so light pen is nothing but an optical input device 
okay it's not an optical output device light pen is your optical input device this you have to remember next question univac u n i v a c is any guesses it can be it can, it's definitely not universal array computer automatic computer or unvalued automatic computer it's your universal automatic computer univac is universal universal automatic computer so cd rom stands for yes most people actually know this it's compatible read only memory alu most people definitely know this it's arithmetic logic unit what does vda stands for vda is video graphics array so i'm just uh making you to visualize the options or i'll be going forward with only the options correct answers so ibm 1401 is yes tell me ibm 1 ibm 1401 is definitely your second generation computer as it has transistors let's not forget this okay msi stands for medium scale integrated circuits it's not medium system they, they, they these are most common important questions because you can see you definitely will be knowing the definition like msi it's medium scale integrated circuits but when you look at the options you might get confused medium system integrated circuits is also there medium scale intelligent circuits so between integrated and intelligent and system and scale we might get confused so always remember the correct definition which is medium scale integrated circuit so the capacity of 3.5 inch floppy disk is yes very well known for everyone it's 1.44 mb and it's not a uh, gb you have to be aware with this it's, it's mb so what does wan stand for wan everyone knows it stands for wide area network as simple as that micr stands for micr stands for magnetic ink character okay magnetic ink character reader which is your option a okay and what does edc dic stand for edc is extended binary coded decimal interchange code which is your option a and which of the following is a part of central processing unit central processing you already told central processing unit is nothing but your arithmetic and logical unit which is your option d or uh, cad cad stands for computer aided design which is nothing but your first option so junk next question is your junk email is also called as um if you have observed this is a very 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 easy yet a very confusing part because it is all the junk emails are been present and stored in your spam. so coming to 37 question so dash is a group of instruction that directs a computer so program is something which is having instructions and that directs a computer so the correct answer is option c okay so what type of computers are client computers so most of the time in a client server system so this is uh, definitely an important question as it can be um, very in depth but this is also must known question or uh, type of computers what type of computers are client computers is nothing but your mini computers are your client computers in a client server system so your option is c option is b mini computer so our come next question is a computer cannot boot if it does not have the dash so computer cannot boot if it does not have an operating system it, it's fine with compiler loader assembler that's a part of your programming languages but if it does not have an operating system like windows unix operating systems like 
Windows, Linux, AIX, Unix and such. It cannot boot. You cannot boot. Okay. The amount of vertical space between the lines of a text in a document. So if you take a MS Word document, the line spacing is nothing but it's called as your single space. Single space. It's not called line spacing. It's called single space. Next, example of a non-numeric data. So non-numeric data employee address examination score bank balance this is very reasonable question which is employee address okay um it definitely has alphabets as well as numeric but a non-numeric data can also have something without a number so when a file is saved for the first time a copy is automatically printed it must be given a name to identify it does not need a name it only needs a name it is going to the printed so what can be the correct answer it must be given a name to identify it you definitely can do all the other things but at the first when your file is saved you definitely have to give a name so which programming language are classified as low level language so as i said low level languages are nothing but your assembly level languages your machine languages is nothing but your high level languages rest other languages like C, C++, Prolong, Basic, Cobol, all these are other programming languages which is also high level language, okay? So which of the following is not an antivirus? So we have heard of MacKev, the option D, MacKev, NAV, F4, but Oracle is not an off antivirus as it is a software or as a company or as a product, okay? Um, or it's even a database which device is required for internet connection as i said yes this modem is definitely required what is dma stands for dma stands for direct memory access which is your option b which of the following is a storage device so storage device a tape a, definitely a hard disk definitely a floppy disk definitely so all of the above definitely so when did john napier develop logarithm so this is most important as it was in 1614 when he developed logarithm okay must remember point um next question a normal cd rom usually a cd rom we discussed cd rom can store up to how many mb or kb or bytes we definitely know it is 680 but uh, any guesses on if it is mb or gb or kb or bytes we discussed this on the dvd cd and the blu-ray disc which was greater and which was less on that basis so 680 mb megabyte is definitely the usual store up for a cd-rom data okay so the microprocessor is the brain of the computer and it is also called as microchip it is not a microprocessor microprocessor itself is the brain of the computer it's also called as a microchip 51 question what kind of memory is both static and non-volatile so before i see what is static and non-volatile ram is for read for random access memory, which we have discussed, IOM is read only memory, while BIOS is nothing but basic input slash output system. It's not device, it's a system. While as cache, so what is cache? Cache is a special storage space for temporary files so that means the device browser or app browser will run faster or more efficiently only when there is some temporary space or files that exists or that makes the device or the browser to run fast 
figure out what kind of memory is both static and non-volatile. So static and non-volatile is your ROM, which means it can read and as well as it can write. Okay, so it's your ROM. So BCD. BCD is nothing but binary coded decimal, which is your option A. So what does ASCII or ASCII stand for? ASCII stand for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, which is your option C. In which of the following is the first generation computer? So how many you know which is the first generated computer? So EDSAC is nothing but your electronic delay storage automatic calculator. Full form of EDSAC is electronic um, delay storage automatic and C stands for calculator. Okay. Automatic calculator. And IBM full form is nothing but international business machines. I think it's well known. Business machines and CDC is nothing uh, but control data corporation. They might ask all this in the form of um, multiple choices, but I'm giving an explanation. ICL is your Indian Cricket League. Okay. So if you see which of the following the first generation of the computer, electronic delay storage automatic calculator was first generation computer so moving on to next question 55 chief component of first generation computer was the first generator computer remember the chief component was vacuum tubes and valves photon so what is photon photon is nothing but your formula translation is your photon short form okay photon EPROM, e -E -P -R -O -M, is your ROM, which is electronic erasable portable read only memory. So it is option C. Second generation computers were developed using, so I want to take you back to the um, list of uh, generation period and technology used where we were discussing about the first generation, second generation, and third generation. So here, first generation was ranging from 1946 to 1959, which was vacuum tube or valves, like how we um, discussed. It is valves. And your second generation is your 1959 to 65, your transistor. From 65 to 71, your integrated circuit and 71 to 80 is your microprocessor, 80 to present is your artificial intelligence, which means from 1980, we have been proceeding with till now with artificial intelligence. Everything has maximum of 10 to 15 maximum of age difference or year difference. Okay. So your first generation, your first second generation were developed during 1956 to 1965, which is your option B. So next, the computer size was very large in the very large computers were developed in the very beginning of first generation, which was using vacuum tubes. So microprocessors are switching devices are for which generation computer? So microprocessor we saw in the we saw in just previous to artificial intelligence which is your fourth generation which of the following devices can be sued to directly image print text so what is this ocr omr and imr so ocr is your optical character reader okay and your omr is your optical mark reader 
and your MICR is nothing but your magnetic yeah it's your magnetic ink ink sorry it's your magnetic ink character reader so MICR stands for magnetic ink character reader so if you look which was directly image printed was your OCR which means your optical character reader was printing images okay so the output quality of a printer is measured by dot per inch okay must and should remember it's a dot per inch in analog computer let's look at the options in input is first converted digital form no output is never converted digital form no output is displayed in digital form no all of the above no so what is the answer so the analog computer input is never converted into digital form okay option b is your answer in the latest generation computer the instructions are executed it was executed both sequentially and parallelly okay next who designed the first electronic computer that is e n i a c so the uh, first person is your j pepper accurate and john w mochi monchley okay who invented high level language c dennis ritchie dennis m ritchie invented high level language the personal who design program operate and maintain computer equipment refers to so what does a person who design program operate maintain computer so you can definitely find all the options but people where is the correct answer for the personal who design program operate and maintain computer operator he is not a programmer he is not an analyst or he is not a console operator so when did the art rivals ibm and apple computer decide to join hands in 1991 must remember okay human beings are referred to as homo sapiens which device is called silico sapiens which device is called silico sapiens robot hardware monitor human beings are homo sapiens silico sapiens is the silicon computer i so it was computer chips are also called as silicon chips we have discussed this an error in software or hand or a hardware is called a bug what is an alternative computer jargon for it so what um so jargon in the sense like what is a alternative synonyms in computer language okay so in computer language it's called a glitch you can almost the time find it or uh, like when your cursor is got stuck or your monitor is got stuck you get a glitch so that's the key to close a selected drop down list or cancel a command and close a dialog box as simple even if you give escape it's selected drop down can cancel the command and close a dialog box okay so it's escape key what is the name of the display feature that highlights are off the screen which requires operator attention is nothing but a reverse video which requires operator attention the next question personal computers use a number of chips mounted on the main socket port so what is the common name for such ports you can definitely find in the option it's none other you don't have breadboard you don't have motherboard you don't have rotterboard it's definitely motherboard so on most ibm pc is the cpu the device drivers, the memory expansion slots and active components amount in a single board is nothing but your motherboard where you have everything. IBM PC, the circuit, the devices, everything as such. So what is meant by dedicated computer? So dedicated computer is some uh, which is assigned to one and only one task which is your option B. The system unit of a personal computer typically contains all of the following. So your personal computer except contains microprocessor, contains disk controller, contains serial interface but modem is something which is outside your computer or 
you can tell it is a separate device which is not mounted with your CPU and such. Okay. The computer program at converts the entire program. So entire program is nothing but your compiler. And next, a computer program that translates one program instructions is your interpreter. So interpreter transpines interpreter. Uh, translates line by line program to machine language while your compiler converts the entire program into machine language. So next, a smaller intelligent device is so called because it contains within it uh, is um, a very small minute what is that is called a sensor. Okay, a fault in a computer program which prevents it from working correctly. The other jargon for glitch is your bug. So next. A self-replicating program similar to virus which was from 1970 since a friction novel by John Gruner entitled the shockware rider is a bug here self-replicating program similar to a virus means there was a, a virus which was self-replicating in the program which was also similar to the virus which is uh, from the human body is nothing it's not a bug it's a worm okay ransomware and all that such a state okay is a bistable electronic circuit a state which is a bistable electronic circuit always remember it's flip flop so unwanted repetitious messages such as unsolicited bulk emails is known as spam yes definitely because it's always there as a junk in your email a space where you can store your junk in an email dos stands for disk operating system which is your option a who is the chief of microsoft very well known it's um bill gates okay so which are the following are input devices input devices are your keyboard mouse card reader anything which you can type and which you can send input okay so it is any of these is also or all of the above is also correct answer examples of output devices are your screens which you can see printer and speaker all of the above which of the following is also known as the brain of the computer cpu is your most um heart and your brain of the computer that is your central processing unit it's not the control unit central processing unit if here there was logical unit and all of the above answer you could have considered central processing unit and arithmetic as the correct answer so what does ibm stands for ibm stands for international business machines and not management so it's your option c dash translates and executes program at runtime line by line line by line running i told you it is nothing but your interpreter dash is the oop principle oops is nothing but your principle oops is definitely a structured language definitely a procedural language definitely has linking but it's inheritance you oops we definitely use for inheriting concept so cobal is widely used in application cobal is widely used in applications for commercial purposes for not for scientific and other purposes cobal is your computer language ram stands for random access memory yes so one byte is one byte is yes eight bits SMPS. SMPS nothing but switched mode power supply. It's your option A. The device used to carry digital data on analog lines. Digital data on an analog lines is your modem. Okay. VDU is also called as a monitor because VDU is visual. Um, what was it? full form of VDU. VDU is your visual display unit. So it is also called as your monitor. BIOS stands for basic input output system. 
father of C programming we have discussed is Dennis Ritchie. The instructions that tell a computer how to carry out processing tasks referred to as your programs. The instructions that tell a computer how to carry processing out processing tasks is nothing but your programs. So hereby I'm coming coming, coming to the end of the basic fundamental questions.